She's getting attacked by bees. Wait, did you guys hook up? I don't want to get married. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be continuing on with the Family Tree Legacy Challenge. If this is your first video of this challenge, this is not episode one. I will link episode one right up here so you can start from the beginning if you so choose. If not, come along with us to prom because that's what we're doing today. I'm super excited. We're finally going with like an actual date even though I'm a little bit nervous because any type of event in The Sims doesn't usually go well for me because I have bad time management skills. With that said, if you guys enjoy this video, make sure you like it. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Let's get back to the challenge. Look at Olive doing her homework. I didn't even ask her to. I had no plans of that. We do have prom tomorrow, though. It's currently like 4 a.m. Um, also, it's Ruben's birthday tomorrow. Probably should make him a cake. Probably gonna have to do that when we get home from prom or he's gonna age up without us. I'm not really sure. Maybe we do his birthday right before prom. I think that's what we'll do. We'll end up waking him up for that. There's also the Festival of Snow today, which is super cute, but we can't go because we have prom. There's also the Finchwich Chicken Fair. We cannot go, we have prom. And also I said Finchwick very strangely. Oh, if we get one more promotion in cheerleading, we'll be cheer captain. That's pretty exciting. We might try to be cheer captain. All of these gnomes need to go. Can I sell them? There's too many. We will keep this little Sally swimmer lady because I'm pretty sure she used to live next to Gary. Also, the bunny can live next to the bunny home because I think that's also where that used to live. And the rest can go. All the creepy gnomes can go. Goodbye. 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 Thank you for the free money. We have 79,000 simoleons. Our money tree really really bringing it in because like jason's a gardener but he's only like level two yeah he's not making much good morning birthday boy it's 5 a.m you are up bright and early sherry you should probably bake a cake let's just do this we can have cake for breakfast also it's not under bake it's under cook oh we can sell more of our money fruit there's another nine thousand. i'm gonna have olive do some gardening though why our pumpkins are like white are they, is that how they look? Oh, they're done. We just have white pumpkins. I'm gonna have her harvest everything. Get get her gardening on because we need to up this skill a little better. We need to do some weeding. Jason does a lot of it, but I think he mainly focuses like on the indoor plants. We currently have four money trees and then also some money carrots. We're doing good. Oh, Sherry did bake the cake. Please put the candles on the cake. Pretty please. Oh, here's a blueberry pie. We completely forgot about that for Harvest Fest. Ooh, our pumpkins are perfect. <laughs> and this one sells for 69 simoleons, so that's nice. She's getting attacked by bees. Stop that. They are currently enraged. Jason, Jason, you're the bee guy. Um, so I need you to come and take care of the bees, please. Oh, and it's prom day and she got stung by bees. This is Chris's wife and she's currently walking around without a shirt on, so you should probably change your outfit because there are children around. You have a lot of shirtless outfits. Okay, great. There you go. How about that? Thanks. <laughs> that might have been a summer outfit and I really hope she doesn't like die from freezing. Buddy, are you going to pass out? Why? 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 I haven't told you to do literally anything. You could have gone to bed. You just chose to pass out. Apparently Sherry loves S-pop music, so love that for her. Also love that it's like a little finger heart down here. We can sell 23,000 simoleons worth. We have over 115,000 simoleons after we sell this. 120,000 simoleons. We just made 40,000 simoleons in the last, like, real world three minutes. He just went inside to go give Sherry a kiss. And he's gonna go to bed. You should probably change out of your beekeeper suit, though, and I know that you won't. Oh, we're discussing Sherry's favorite recipes. I love that for us. And she's like, hey, just buy my book. I do want to have Sherry write another cookbook. We haven't done that. And I, I meant for that to be like a main source of income for her. And I kind of dropped the ball. I don't know. Do you have to be in the cooking career to write a cookbook? I want her to be able to just write a cookbook. So I guess let's write a short story instead. Oh. Okay, it's for a donation. Sorry to bother you, but I heard you're a great person. Would you like to make a donation? Yeah, sure. We just got a bunch of money. I'm so bad at coming up with titles. Let's go with Cooking Under Fire. A Sherry Pate story. 
Okay, she is currently taking a bath. After that, I'm going to have you take a quick sleep, and then we'll be ready for prom. I don't want her to be tired during prom. Oh, Sherry can now write nonfiction, which I guess the one we're writing kind of would be. Um, sell to a publisher and recite love poetry with other sims. So we will probably see that play out with Jason, because they're crazy in love. We can sell another 15000 That's wild. Okay, this person just showed up and came into Olive's room, and I can't even go over there. Hey, this could be fun. Juliet Goodwin wants to go to the prom with Olive Martin as friends. Does she want to go? No. No, Juliet. I'm sorry. I currently have a date. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, I know that it's the day of prom, and you're a little bit desperate for a date, and, like, it would be super cool to go as friends, but I am going with Peyton. Also, are you just going to, like, hang out at my house now? Should, um, okay. We are pretty good friends, though. So that's good. Oh, no, we have a probably bad sentiment. Creeped out. Dejection and rejection. Dejected and rejection. Oh! Oh! The pre-prom is at Melvin's house. So we're going to go there. Um, I hope his stepmom has a shirt on. Let's go. Also, I guess I probably should have invited Peyton to come with. I don't know if the game will just have him show up or not. I also hope he's actually our date. I hope he shows up with us. It's kind of fun that since we like uninvited Melvin that now he's the one throwing the party. He is not here currently, Peyton. So let's invite him. Um, but we do have Branson. Love that for us. He seems moody. We have Ulysses. Hate that for us. Because this man, bane of our existence, he's our bully. Um, and then Yusin. Who is Juliet that came over? I was thinking that was Yusin. Oh, right. She's lactose intolerant. That's that's how I remember her. All right. Hey, Melvin. How you doing? Is your family outie? Also, I love this house. I built this house. It's so cute. It is not big enough to house a thruple and two children. I don't think so. So there is part of me that kind of wish or hopes that we end up with Melvin because if we do it gives me a reason to give all of this property which is huge and is kind of perfect for what we need um so let me know should I guess it's not that big because it's just this right I don't know what the actual boundaries of this area are but it's it's a huge lot um, but let me know if you think that we should stay in Henford on Bagley at a different lot for Olive's generation, if we should move to a different location. Her main thing is gardening, so I was thinking either this one or the one that came with the horses. I don't remember what that expansion pack was called, um, but that one could work too. Oh, wait, is there a baby again? Oh, right, there's three kids. Here's Xavier. Okay. They gave you a whole makeover, and also that looks like a blood stain. I'm this baby does weird things every time we see it. Okay, so there's a baby named Jake also. A couple of kids. Oh, Xavier Minton. Wait. So Xavier Minton is Taylor's child. Is it Taylor's child with Chris? It is. But they're a toddler. Now, where is this baby that is not Taylor's? Where's the baby at? Where did they hide the baby? Because the timelines are not timelining. All right, well, let's be asked to be introduced to this child because I don't know where they're at. Also, I did plan to have like that whole birthday thing at home. Um, kind of messed that up. Apparently our man plays the violin. We are learning things. Let's do a little flirty flirts. Because, you know, Melvin still never picked up what you're putting down. I do want to make sure that Peyton's our date. Does it say? Prom date. There we go. Also lovers. Good compatibility. Yeah. Extremely attractive. Huh. Melvin. Hopefully it doesn't say you're a prom date. We still have a crush on Melvin though. But because this isn't full green, I think this is fading. Like I think we're getting over our crush. I think we can actively probably do that. So I don't know if he has a date or if he's going solo. I do want to see if we can figure out more about like his hobbies. Also, let's see if he has a favorite color. Oh, and he likes basic fashions and hipster fashions. Also likes the color white. Kind of boring. Kind of boring, Peyton. Oh, Chris is home. Taylor is not happy about it. Taylor's also crying. She's an elder now. Chris is not an elder yet. You should be pretty soon. No, he's only 18 of 42. How is Chris so much younger? 
I guess I did make him like after. And then this lady, at least she's wearing a shirt. How old are you? It's pretty young like Chris. Everyone left me. Olive is just sitting in this house waiting for prom to roll around. Everyone else left. Melvin's over here. Where did everyone go? This guy's walking around shirtless. Is it is it just topless Tuesday? What is happening? I'm going to send us home um, because maybe we can get a birthday in. But I do think prom is starting like any minute now. So I'm just waiting for the pop up to show up. There it is. Travel with Olive to prom. Yes, I meant, though. I meant to try to like conceal her acne and completely forgot about it. All right. And is Peyton here? He is. He's morphed with somebody else. We are all just in these horrifying morphed blobs. This, yep. Yep. Okay, that one's probably the scariest. Brandon Delgado. Okay, let's come in here real quick and let's try to... Where can I conceal my acne? There we go. Conceal your acne because you look great. I just want to do a little touch-up. This is our updated prom look i figure she's a little bit older so we went a little bit more like gown look and still in her signature green though okay let's see how you do don't botch it did you botch it you did you did botch it <laughs> you know it's okay okay someone's heartbroken in the toilet who is it it's a chaperone who's crying in the bathroom why are you crying currently not married you have one child not pregnant and you're probably fine. You should not be crying at a high school prom. All right. And here is our girl looking stunning. I did give her the corsage this time um, and also gave Peyton a matching boutonniere. He looks sad, though. Are you sad or is this just your face? Let's go flirt with our date. Oh, he's embarrassed. What happened? Oh, but he accepted our flirt. She's flirting from a distance. What is what is the embarrassing thing going on here? I'm going to also reveal our crush to him. I'm pretty sure he knows. We went on a date, but let's just kind of be like... She's also saying you're my favorite. Like, I'm so happy to be here with you. This is how things are supposed to be. Also, it's crush reveal time. He's totally good with it. We had a heart with a double plus sign, so I think he's down. So let's go ahead and do the stuff that we're supposed to, which is dance, vote for prom royalty, and eat something. So I think let's get the votes out of the way. So for prom jester, uh, I kind of want to vote for one of our friends. I'm trying to think. Is Peyton funnier or Melvin? Peyton, Melvin, Peyton, Melvin. I'm going to vote for Peyton because I want to I wanna be up there. And I would vote... For ourselves as prom royalty but i'm pretty sure that we can't so then we'll vote for melvin over here um and hopefully it'll end up peyton and olive at the end or our date is going to end up on stage with somebody else and that would not be ideal go ahead and get your voting done i know you want to hang out and chat with your boys but go vote oh she can't okay there we go now we're voting Ooh, also food some roasted duck Okay. Also, using the photo booth is on the list now. The prom award ceremony is starting. This is what I'm saying. It goes so quickly. Like, now that we voted, they're like, all right, let's do this. This lady has crabs. Tanya, you can get a shampoo for that. Also, Anna's really cute. I've never met her. I'm pretty sure she's a glutton because of the way that she eats. She's very cute. That's some glutton eating moves. And the prom royalty is uh, prom royalty, Chastity Hanley, and who else? The prom jester, Yusin Lewis. I think they won last time. Pretty sure that's what happened last prom. Pretty sure these two were also up there. Um, so congratulations. Not loving that for me. But that's okay. We can go ahead and do our... Ooh, we can just mess around with Peyton. I don't know what all that entails. Um, but let's go take a flirty photo. And then take a photo. A romantic photo with Peyton. And then maybe mess around. I... Uh, is that like teen woohoo? Is that like making out? I'm not sure. 
I also don't know if my teens can get pregnant in this game or not. I have different mods and I'm not sure what the settings are on. I'm confronting someone about bullying. Oh my god, go do that. Who are we confronting? This is something new. Who? Who's being a bully? Who's being a bully? Is she the bully? I don't know. Maybe Peyton's the bully? I don't know who the bully is. Don't make fun of her crabs, man. Did you get... Wait, did you guys hook up? Did you get crabs from each other? There's some drama here. There's some tea. Peyton, did you guys hook up and did you give her crabs? Did she give you crabs? We don't get along with her, though. All right, looks like we took our picture. They're going to go ahead and take their picture. They're going to go mess around. I don't know if they took the picture. Prom unsuccessful. How is it over? Where did the time go? Where did the time go? They don't even get to mess around in the photo booth because I somehow ran out of time. It went so quickly. We did not dance. We didn't do anything. That's wild. Is there a mod to make prom longer? Also, now I feel like I need to keep her in school so I can have another prom. <laughs> yeah, let's go to the after party. I don't even know that she took a picture by herself. I really don't know. Let's take a bunch of our friends, though. Not the girl with crabs. I don't think, I don't know if we even know each other. Oh, we do. Let's bring her. Maybe it'll be drama. Like, I gave the pre-warning <laughs> at the beginning of this that I have bad time management skills. Um, and that is just proof of that. Because I feel like, so it's only four hours, right? It's like four in-game hours, which is so fast. It's so fast. There was no time. Could not have danced if I wanted to. I can only leave my friends behind. I want to know their relationship. I kind of want to go into Peyton and see, like, do these two have something together? Okay, so we definitely need to go. There we, we can just go mess around in the cuddle carts, okay? That's where this all started. <laughs> Technically, that's how we chose Peyton, was uh, he had the same vibe with us when we went on the cuddle carts. He was down for things that Melvin just was not picking up on. Where did Melvin go? Also, did Melvin have a date? Oh, they did have woohoo, because Peyton used a condom. Okay, <laughs> at least they're being safe. I thought it was going to be like making out. Um, apparently not. We just hooked up with him, so we might want to ask him to be our boyfriend, you know. Um, not just a fling, I guess. Casual confusion. Peyton stretches his arm over his head, attempting to casually wrap it around Olive's shoulders. Is Peyton doing what she thinks he's doing? Does Olive decide to take the chance and lean in, or does she pull away and make some space to turn Peyton? Scoot closer, you guys just hooked up. Olive closes the distance between her and Peyton. Peyton lets out a sigh of relief and pulls Olive a little closer to make this the cuddliest of carts, that the cuddle carts have ever seen. I bet, because they got busy. Uh, they gained romance between the riders. So, love that for us. Um, Olive, I'm sorry, your first time was kind of in a cuddle cart. I did not fully understand what was happening. Um, but I do think we should go ahead and just ask Peyton to be our boyfriend. Um, be like, so like, listen, things, things are obviously getting fairly serious. I think we should probably put a little label on it. And he said, hell yeah. She's currently feeling confident or he's feeling confident. I think they both are. He seems, nope. <laughs> they just did like, huh? That was adorable. It's, he's like, I don't want to get married. But like, he just said, I, I think he just said, I don't want to get married. Like, what was that? It was like, let's go on an adventure together. I can't wait for our journey because it was like a treasure map. But then it was like two rings and like a cross through it. Like, I don't want to get married, but like, I'm excited for this. Does he know that we probably can't get married unless if he happens to end up with the loves the outdoor straight? So we're just going to have a good time together for now? Because that's cool. All right, boyfriend. Talk about a post made about Peyton. There was a post made about Peyton. Chris had a bad time at prom. Oh, Zero minutes ago, so literally while they were in the cuddle carts doing their cuddling, he said, your skills are on point, Olive. Great. Okay, so let's do no post. We can post about prom. Okay. Post about prom. Happy narrative. 
Let's do that. Crown or no crown, prom is the best night ever. I'm happy for you. She's happy. All right, you guys just vibe. You can mess around on the Ferris wheel too. Once you can mess around, you can mess around everywhere in this place. Is that their plan? Is it like, because you always come here after prom. I do want to get ice cream though. Go get a mint chocolate chip cone. There's an ice skating rink over here? I have not looked around here. You can ice skate. I didn't see until Branson was here. Let's skate with Peyton. That's cute. Oh, apparently Melvin can skate. I want to turn on like romantic music. There we go. Look at Melvin go. Peyton, not so much. Oh, Olive also may have a concussion. You guys are trying your best. They are struggling. Is this fitness skill? Like, what skill is this? Yeah, and our fitness is pretty decent, so I'm surprised Olive's not better. Looks like everyone else left, except for Melvin. You can mess around in the haunted house, too. You can literally hook up everywhere. Everywhere in this place, except for the ice rink. Oh, Stefan's still here, too. Look at you go. Some people just have skills. We don't have them. I think we are done here since it's like 5 a.m. So let's go ahead and travel home. And actually, I guess if people wanted to come over, they could. Our parents definitely would not care. We're going to go ahead and bring Peyton back home. Because um, I do want to have Reuben blow out his candles. I don't know if he's aged up. It doesn't look like he has yet. Um, and I'm hoping that we can do that. That way he's not like depressed that we forgot his birthday. I didn't forget, buddy. I just ran out of time. No, we are Simone! back home. Can we invite Peyton to stay the night? Is that something we can do? Know what that would be under for teen. I don't need to mess around. You're home. You could mess around in the animal shed. Wow. <laughs> I'm not too worried. I think I'll just hang out. All right. Let's go ahead and celebrate your birthday. Everyone come over here. Oh, it looks like Sherry was waiting up. Everybody was waiting. Let's celebrate. Happy birthday, Reuben. Olive, get in here. Come celebrate your brother. All right, Reuben, it is your turn to blow out the candles. Happy birthday, bud. Oh, you missed. We no longer have any children. Ooh, full teen. We are going to change all of that. And for your skill, he got self-assured. So he's a cat lover who is self-assured. And let's do a teen aspiration for you. I think live fast makes some sense for him. This sim aims to get the most out of life by living carefree and rules free. He does, but he does have a strict parent. So no, let's go. Let's go goal oriented. He's going to want to do the best he can because that was kind of the dynamic with him and Sherry is like she's more strict with him. So he wants to meet those expectations. And with that, he'll also get the relatable trait. I'm going to head into Cass and give him a little makeover. Let's take everything off here. OK, he has Jason's eye shape. Like how I didn't know if Olive got it. I think hers is more of a hybrid. This I'm pretty sure is Jason's eye shape. So he's got a lot of Jason there. I'm excited to see what he looks like, like when he's older. Um, but let me go ahead and give him his CC. And here's Ruben's CC makeover. It's pretty simplistic. I did give him this hairstyle just because it's wavier. And like when he was little, he had the curlier hair. Like I actually never used Alpha CC on him because it was, I didn't have any that was like curlier. Um, so with this, it's not exactly curly, but it is wavy. And he does look a lot like Jason. There's just, there's so much Jason. It's crazy. He was, he was so young and now he looks way older. I do think him and Olive look similar, but Olive has more Sherry. There's more Sherry here. And this is, this is a lot of Jason. Um, and I love that for us. I love more Jason DNA out in the world. So here's his makeover. I just did some quick outfits. It, he chose this hat for his little dapper look, so I let him have it. I did give him also Jason's shirt. I think Jason still wears this as pajamas, um, this Rolling Stones shirt. And so I figured it was kind of like it got passed down. But yeah, so here is his makeover. 
Um, and with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. We uh, lost our virginity and gained a boyfriend all in one episode um, and barely took part in prom because prom is too short. If there's anything that you want to see during the last week of Olive as a teen, definitely let me know in the comments, any suggestions. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you like it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.